Hello all. Just gonna make a short video of uh, what's going on with my Saw 900 engine here. Let's put on a boat. Yeah, 650 kilometers on a fresh rebuild that was pretty uh, pretty intense. I was pretty careful about literally everything I did. It uh, started burning oil pretty much right away by a fairly vast quantity. So the first thing I suspected was the turbo, of course. So I put actually a different turbo on completely, um, that which I rebuilt myself. So it's not even the same turbo and it's rebuilt to kind of eliminate some of the problem. Uh, that didn't help. So the next thing I concentrated on was the next cheapest thing pretty much, which was valve stem seals. Um, attempted to do them without taking the head off pretty unsuccessfully so now I'm at the stage now where the head's off and you can obviously see here after only 500 kilometers there really is a lot of oil consumption going on in here uh, the valve stem seals themselves I took off they look fairly good uh, didn't seem like there's any issues obviously I mean I did a pretty careful job of it uh, this is pretty frustrating now because it's still, as of now, the engine's, you know, completely apart to try to find out what's going on with the oil consumption and it's still a mystery. The bores look great. They broke in really well. Um, no problems there. Tops of the pistons still fairly decent, I suppose, after 500 kilometers. The plenum had a little bit of oil in it, but... It's understandable during break-in there's going to be a little bit of blow-by while the brings break in, but there wasn't like a substantial amount. Um, the, it went through a liter and a half of oil in the 645 kilometers, so that's incredible. So, I mean, the valve guides, I can't imagine, are bad. I'll take this valve here and shove it into its respective guide. There's really not that much play. They feel pretty tight still. And this head actually was from a pretty clean burning car. When I took the valves out of it, it was they were all nice and you know typical brown color, not just the sh crappy black that they are now. Of course, the, if the intake valve stems were leaking, you would never know because the gas would be on them anyway. So, so yeah, here we are. Uh, I don't really know what to do at this point other than just put, you know, a really nice good set of expensive valve stem seals on it. These ones here. And uh, try again. I don't know. Um, if anybody has any comments on what they think it might be, just let me know. I wish I uh, knew myself what was going on here. Man, that's fucking dirty. Oh man. Bye for now.